Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Pete Delkis. We're live in Plano at the shops at Legacy. It's Santa's Helpers 2006. More on Santa's Helpers and another hard freeze in the forecast. The details are next. It's Santa's Helpers toy drive through time. Tonight, come to the shops at Legacy from 4 to 7 p.m. and drop off a new unwrapped toy to light up the lives of area kids. From the Santa's Helper sponsors and Chen Lee, the spirit of Texas. Yeah, we yeah. hope a lot of people are coming together out in Plano this evening. It's getting bitter cold out there, but I know there's a lot of happy folks out there collecting toys and dropping them off, right guys? Oh, absolutely, Jeff. We have a lot of folks out here with warm hearts, and I want to I want to introduce you to Mr. Santa's helpers himself, Troy. Another ho, ho, nice ho. turnout tonight. Yeah, huh? it's not that cold. Come on out. Shops at Legacy, right off the tollway on Legacy. And uh, Pete's going to do the weather in a minute. we got some volunteers to thank. Brooklyn's Pizza, bringing pizza for the volunteers. EDS, Marriott Hotel nearby. Shops at Legacy, beautiful place. FedEx, Plano Police Department, Select Floors, Toy Warehouse Space. They've all been helping us this afternoon. We see Jackie Highland and Macy Jepson over there as well. And uh, what else, Pete? Well, we got a couple sponsors we want to thank as well. Uh, Cadbury Schweppes, wave guys, there you go. DR Horton, Tom Thumb, there's Tom himself and Don Davis Auto Group. We want to thank our corporate sponsors uh, as well for really making this a success again this year. And we need you at home to come out oh, yeah. and help us out too, don't we? We are right in the middle of this. This is till 7 o'clock. Shops at Legacy, a beautiful place, lighted up like Christmas all year long. Please come out. We just have till 7 o'clock. We need your help. You now, we had to miss that event in Denton last week because of the ice. Well, now then, we really need help, and this is your chance. you got time to stop by, buy some toys, and come see us. Shops at Legacy between 9 and 7. How about some weather, Pete? All right, Troy, we're going to check back in with you in a couple of minutes. Right. Let's get right into it, though. Obviously, we have some chilly temperatures. Look at the temperature right now at Prosper. It's 33, Bonham's 34, Fort Worth is 38, and to clear skies. And in Plano, we have a live shot for you here at the Shops at Legacy in Plano. It's 38 degrees. So, again, as Troy mentioned, don't let the weather stop you. Come on out. It's definitely a nice evening for us. Temperatures today, it was cold, wasn't it? 49 the high, 36 the low. The normals are 58 and 39. The records remain a dry day today. Outside right now at DFW, it's 39 degrees. Dry air mass in place. Uh, breezy wind out of the north-northeast at 20, and the barometer right now is rising. Time cast. Here's the deal. As we Tuesday's high temperature, 65. So again, Troy, Santa's mm -hmm. Helpers 2006. We're here till 7 tonight. And a lovely lady just stopped by and left us a check. You can give us a check or money. We know how to buy toys wholesale. That'll work, too. Just till 7 o'clock. Shops at Legacy, come see us. All right, that sounds good. See you guys. Hey, thanks, Pete. Thanks, Troy. It looks, it is a lot of fun out there. It, Does yeah. that mean we can say it on the air? Merry Christmas. Merry I Christmas. Guess. How about yeah. those guys out good. at uh, Plano? The Legacy Shops at Legacy. Yeah, it's still going on for There's about another hour. Big guys out there too. The big guy. Yeah, go see them. See you soon. It's Santa's Helper's Evening at the Shops at Legacy in Plano. You have about an hour to join us. If you don't think you've got time to buy a toy, bring us some money. We can buy toys wholesale. Shops at Legacy, Plano, now to seven. Join us. And has the tax test worn out its welcome? The debate underway on whether to keep it when we come back. It's Santa's Helper's Toy drive through Time. Tonight, come to the shops at Legacy from 4 to 7 p.m. and drop off a new unwrapped toy to light up the lives of area kids. From the Santa's Helper sponsors and Chen Lee, the spirit of Texas. Well, it's that time of year again. We need any and all new unwrapped toys you can spare. Those gifts will then go to a child in need as part of Santa's Helper's campaign. Now, tonight, we're accepting toys until 7 at the Legacy Town Center of Plano. That's in front of the Marriott Hotel on Bishop Road at Legacy Drive. And Troy Dungan, who has led the Santa's Helper's Charge for years, <laughs> is accompanied tonight by the wonderful Steve Delkus, or Pete Delkus. I'm confused. <laughs> we got Steve McCauley here. I was supposed to introduce you, Troy, but I saw Pete. Well, we're here. We're, we're both here, Gloria. We answer to either name. It's okay. <laughs> as long as the paycheck keeps coming, why not? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, Pete, here's the deal. What we want to do is thank our major sponsors, uh, Cadbury Shreps America's Beverages, D.R. Horton, Tom Thumb, and Don Davis Auto Group. Now, why do I thank them especially? Because they paid the expenses for the campaign. If you don't think you got enough time to buy a toy between 9 and 7 o'clock, we know how to buy toys at wholesale. You could stop by and give us a check or some money, and Pete or I would be glad to take that as well. Shops at Legacy between now and 7 o'clock, got about 45 minutes in Plano. 
and we have a number of other folks we want to thank tonight too. That's oh, played absolutely. a huge part of this, Troy. Brooklyn's Pizza, they brought up a bunch of hot steaming pizza for us tonight. Too. EDS at Marriott Hotel right here across the street. Of course, where we are, the shops at Legacy. FedEx, the Plano Police Department, they're directing traffic. These guys and girls are doing a great job for us tonight. And Select Floors, the toy warehouse space. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're putting all the stuff. So I uh, want to thank all those folks tonight. The weather is just fine. Don't let the chilly temperatures deter you at all. We've had a steady stream of cars throughout have. the night, haven't we? And I want to go back and talk to the folks some more. You want to do the weather? That sounds good. Let's, let's get right it. into it. All right, let's talk about temperatures outside right now. And you can see for yourself, look at this. Uh, in Greenville, it's 31. Gainesville's 32. North Richland Hills at 37. And then uh, Dallas right now, the temperature is 37 as well. Tower cams, as far as the way things look outside right now, how about a live shot for you right here in Plano? There's the folks at Cadbury Schweppes. Thank you guys very much for the Dr. Pepper Hot. I just had some of that a couple of minutes ago. That was tasty. All right, numbers today. How about these temperatures? It was a chilly one, wasn't it? 49 the high, 36 the low. The normals are 58 and 39. The records, they do remain. We've been as cold as 10 on this date all the way back in 1950. Time cast. This is the way it's going to look for you uh, by... 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's 37 degrees outside right now, and by 7 o'clock, it'll hit 22 degrees. We'll have a high temperature in the middle 60s, mild weather with a continued chance of rain. So John and Gloria, Santa's Helpers 2006, the shops at Legacy up here in Plano. We're going to be here for about another 45 minutes or so collecting toys for the kids. We, of course, want to encourage everyone to stop out and help us out. Hey. Well, thank you, Pete. And it's so good to see all those really nice looking volunteers. Yeah, out there, good right? folks. Right. Have any freezing rain or sleep? Mm, all right, thanks a lot. Appreciate right. it. The temperature may be dropping, but it hasn't chilled the warmth of today's Santa's helpers. Tonight, Pete, Troy, and the gang greeted hundreds of toy wielding viewers. This is at the Legacy Town Center, Plano. Next toy drive is going to be downtown Frisco Fire Station. That's going to be next Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Pete Delkus. We're live in Frisco, Santa's Helpers 2006. More on tonight's event and more on a very warm forecast. Stay with us. The full forecast is next. You know, all week long been pretty nice, I think. It's been beautiful, and I love the spirit of people giving Santa's helpers. I was out in Arlington yesterday. Great time. I understand having a good time today in Frisco. Yeah, let's go to Pete Delkis. He's out there live, and you've got a lot of characters behind you. What's going on there, Pete? <laughs> we do have a lot of characters, and Hanson's not even behind me. But Tom, <laughs> say hi to everybody. Hey, Tom. Thanks to all you guys for coming out and helping us tonight. And, Troy, we've got another nice turnout, oh, don't we? it's a beautiful evening. Frisco's new fire station on Main Street, uh, east of the tollway, west of Preston. It's beautiful. I want to thank Frisco Fire Department, Safety Town. We got the Safety Town yeah, shirts like here. Hey, wait until, wait until Safety Town opens here in the next oh, uh, couple of big. months. It's going to be nice. Frisco Police Department helping us out. FedEx helping us with the heavy lifting. Select for us. Brooklyn's Pizza. I smell it now. Best pizza and in uh, town. FC Dallas, a lot of the players are helping us out. And this we, is from 4 to 7 this evening. 4 to 7 tonight. We have some sponsors, our four sponsors yep. to thank. A Cadbury Schweppes, thanks to them very much. A Don Davis Auto Group, DR Horton, and Tom Thumb. All the folks that are behind us, thank you again yeah, for absolutely. coming out and helping tonight. And thanks to all of you at home, too, folks that have come out tonight, Troy, and they've dropped off toys. Indeed. You have till 7 o'clock. It's a beautiful evening. Stop by, pick up a toy. We also can take cash. We know how to buy toys wholesale. And it's the fire station, Main Street, Frisco. Beautiful area, beautiful evening. Come on out and see us. It's for the kids, and we need your help. But you also have to have weather on a That's night right. like and this. And the weather is perfect, isn't Let's it? Let's do it. Go hey for it. Hey, guys. How you doing? I want to go talk to these folks. Thanks for coming out hey, tonight. All right. Let's get right into it. And uh, we'll show you what we have happening right now on Weatherbug in Garland. It's 68 degrees. The high today, 71. The low, 47. You can see clear skies out there. So look at that. Just a beautiful sunset. Clear skies, 68. And the next and last stop is indeed Frisco. A live picture right here. Temperature in Frisco right now is 67. So let's get right into it. The high today. Very comfortable. 71 was the high, 38 the low. The normals for the day are 57 and 37. The records, we've been as hot as 83, and we have been as cool as 14 on this date. And, of course, no rainfall picked up today. Tuesday yeah. is our Dallas drive through That's okay. It won't be cold. It'll be all right. And Friday in Fort Worth will be great. That's right. But tonight in Frisco is terrific. And I've just been over talking to the folks while you're doing weather. More people coming through, and you've got time. Four to seven, and that gives you another, what, hour and 40 minutes to pick up some toys or brought cash. And we'll see you at the Frisco Fire Station. Yeah, the Central Fire Station right next to Safety Town. We're mm -hmm. right here on Main Street. So if you get a chance, please stop by. Santa's here. The kids can see Santa. They get a little gift not only from Santa, but also from the firefighters, right. too. Come see us. All right, we'll see you guys. 
If you're anywhere near Frisco, you still have time to join Pete and Macy and Santa and me. Santa's helpers night at the Frisco Fire Station, Main Street, just east of downtown, till 7, toys or cash. Come see us. It's Santa's Helper's Toy drive through Time. Tonight, come to the Frisco Central Fire Station in Safety Town from 4 to 7 and drop off a new unwrapped toy to light up the lives of area kids. From the Santa's Helper's sponsors and Channel 8, the spirit of Texas. We're once again asking for your help tonight. We need those new unwrapped toys. Our Santa's Helper's campaign is in Frisco tonight, and so is our Pete Delkus. Hi there, Pete. Hi, Gloria. Hi, John. We have an absolutely beautiful night out here in Troy. We've got hey. a lot of activity, don't oh, we? Oh, absolutely. Having a great night at the new Frisco Fire Station, just east of downtown Frisco on Main Street, and it is hopping, isn't it? We're going to be here until 7 o'clock tonight. 7 o'clock. We, we have had hundreds of people come by, and the chief told you, the mm -hmm. fire chief told you just a few minutes ago yeah. what? He said if we get 700 more toys, we'll have more than got in Plano there tonight, so if you folks in Frisco want to really come on out, you know what? It, it's till 7 o'clock. You might not have time to go buy a toy now, but you know, we can take cash or checks because we know how to buy toys wholesale and all that money would go for toys. Absolutely. So again, until 7 o'clock here at Central Fire Station yep. and the Frisco Fire Safety Town, too. That's going to open up in the next couple of months. They, they gave us a couple shirts, uh, didn't we're they? We're looking good. Got to thank our sponsors, Cadbury Shreps, America's Beverages, Don Davis Auto Group, Tom Thumb, and D.R. Horton Homes. Thank you so much for your help. A couple of other uh, quick thank yous to folks that are helping us tonight. The Frisco Fire Department, of course, in Safety Town, the Frisco Police Department, FedEx, Select Floors, FC Dallas, and the best pizza in town, Brooklyn's, Brooklyn's. Pizza. They're here tonight providing some drinks and also some hot pizza for us. You got any weather? Let's get right into it. We'll show you what we have happening outside. Look at these numbers, Troy. It's beautiful. The current temperature there is 62 degrees as well. And here's a live shot for you right now in Frisco, where we have a current temperature of 60 degrees. So pretty skies outside and a lot of helpers including Tom Thumb. They're up here tonight, too, along with Tom. There he is right in the middle. All right, let's talk about those numbers. The high today, 71. The low was 38. The normals for the day are 57 and 37. The records remain and a dry day today. We will be well above normal as we head through the day tomorrow. And we have uh, Santa's Helper's Toy Drive in, in Dallas, Dallas on Tuesday and in Friday, it's Friday in Fort Worth. Fort. And if you don't have a chance to get by any of our toy drives, please go to WFA.com slash Santa's Helpers. You can donate online. The only charge will be the credit card fee. The rest of it goes straight to toys. All right, Troy, it's been a good night. We're going to be here till 7. John and Gloria, hopefully we'll continue to see a stream of folks coming up. Absolutely. All right, good luck, guys. It's been warm, and it's only going to get warmer, And but we do have a little bit of rain in the forecast. And before we get to that, we want to talk about Santa's helpers. Tonight, we were up in Frisco. We All had right. our Frisco drive through We had a great time up there tonight. Have a little bit of video that we want you to take a look at right now. We had uh, over 2,000 toys were collected Whoa. tonight by the, the good folks in the Frisco area. A lot of people actually came over. They drove over from McKinney because we're not doing a drive through there this year. But uh, our thanks to everyone that came out tonight, all the volunteers, everyone that played a part. <coughs> we need you to continue to play a part. Our donations online are down significantly this year. If you log on to WFAA.com, you too can help out. Again, that's WFAA.com and help us out. We do have another drive through That's going to occur Friday night in Fort Worth. And as you take a look at this uh, bit of information there, Santa's Helpers drive through will be at the Will Rogers Memorial Coliseum. That's Friday night. From 5 to 10, we will be there. Glory is going to be there. John, you're going to make it out Friday night? You uh, were, I know you were in Arlington uh, last night, yeah, so thanks to you for here. that. You're gonna, somebody's <laughs> got to man the yeah, fort. Right. Dale Hansen will be there with us Friday night. Always a treat. Yep. We'll also look forward to our Fort Worth drive through And that chance of rain goes into the day on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, of course, this upcoming Tuesday, is our Dallas drive through right. So yeah. don't let the weather deter you. But again, we did get a, an update tonight from our web folks. And WFA.com, you can log on to that and uh, send some donations into Santa's Helpers. We're really down this year. Kids could really use it. Okay. Thanks a lot. Just think what you gave up, Pete. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm here with you guys, right? Hey, we do have a Santa's Helpers that I want to remind you about. It's Friday night. It's in Fort Worth. There you go. It's at the Will Rogers Memorial Coliseum. It's Friday, December 15th, this coming Friday, 5 to 10 o'clock. Hopefully you can come out and uh, help yeah. the kids out. It'd be all a great right. cause, right? Thanks to all the people that came out for a Symphony of Toys tonight. Lots no. of toys there, too. Mm -hmm. Terrific. That's the news tonight. Thanks for watching. Good night. I'm Pete Delkus, live in Fort Worth, Santa's Helpers 2006. More on the Fort Worth drive through and talk about some rain. It's in the forecast, that and more heat. The details are next.
not Woody from Toy Story. It's actually our own Pete Delkas out there in Fort Worth standing by for the Santa's Helper's Toy Drop-Off. Pete, you look mighty dapper in that hat. Yes, you do. Well, Macy, I'm glad you're my friend. Jeff, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> hey, I've got a couple of other cow, cow folk here with us. Howdy. Troy Dungan. Howdy. Howdy. And hey, Gloria. Our Gloria, favorite you know. cowgirl. Gloria Howdy. Campos right here as well. <laughs> we are at the Will Rogers Coliseum in Fort Worth, Texas. It's Santa's Helper's drive through night. And we're going to be taking your toys. I want to thank some of our helpers. Will Rogers Memorial Center here, of course. Select Floors, Risky's Barbecue, Yum Yum. And Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo, Cowboy Santas. And don't forget, if you're in Denton, you can take toys to the Civic Center there between 5.30 and 7.30 tonight. What you say, Pete? Well, we also have some of our sponsors. Our four sponsors, Cadbury Schweppes, Dr. Horton, Tom Thumb. Tom's wandering around here somewhere. He's in the back. We'll talk there to him is. in a second. And Don Davis Auto Group. Our Absolutely. thanks to all those folks that are helping us out, not only tonight, but throughout all of our Santa's Helpers events. And again, Troy, tonight? We'll be here till 10 o'clock, Will Rogers Coliseum. Everybody knows where it is in Fort Worth. It's a great place for the semicircular drive. You won't have any trouble getting in and out. We need some help. I was over at the warehouse that they have here. It's getting empty. We need to fill it up because there are families that really need toys. Santa's Helpers Night in Fort that Worth. That sounds good. We'll have a good turnout, no doubt about that. Tom made it. Thanks, Tom. Let's get right into weather. We do have a real good chance of rain in the forecast, not tonight. And a live shot for us right now here at the Will Rogers Memorial Center. There's Tom Thumb and some folks drop, driving by to drop off some toys. We've had a little bit of action already this evening, but the temperature outside for us in Fort Worth, again, in the upper 70s. So again, finally a little bit of rain. We're definitely in uh, hopes for that to take place, and it looks like it definitely will. Jim Douglas, come on over here. Hey, Jim, Troy, come Jim's here, up. Man. Hey, right Gloria here, Campos, Jim Douglas. How you doing, toys. Jim? Well, you got the bow tie here, but no bow tie up here. Oh, no, only one is enough, bow tie right? Hat. Jim's hey, going to help us out to do. Gloria's here. Santa's helpers tonight till 10 o'clock. Will Rogers Coliseum in Fort Worth. Everybody knows what it is, and it's a perfect night yeah. to go buy toys. And we can also take cash or a check. All that money goes straight to toys if you do it that way. We'll see you guys. Right. Be careful out there. Have a great weekend. Good night. Big night for Santa's helpers tonight. Fort Worth, Pete and Troy have been out there all night long. A bunch of other folks. You guys have, you get all the fun out there. You know, John, we have had an absolutely great time, haven't Boy, we, Troy? Boisterous crowd back here. <laughs> Here's all the helpers that are left, and they sure have been a big help tonight. Thank, Thank you, you all for your very, volunteer very work tonight. We sure appreciate it. It's been good. It's been a great night in Fort Worth. Fort Worth's a great town. Fort Worth's a big town. It's not a city. It's just love, a great place to Fort be. Worth. So thank you, everybody in Fort Worth, that helped us out tonight. There were about uh, just around 4,900 toys, but a whole bunch of people brought money tonight. And, and a lot of money. And so our Santa's Helpers volunteers will be busy turning those into toys over the weekend. And as I reminded you before, if you bring money or a check, it all goes to the toys because our major sponsors, whom you're going to name right sponsors, now. Our major sponsors, Cadbury Schweppes, uh, America's Beverages, uh, D.R. Horton, Tom Thumb, and Don Davis Auto Group. They pay the big bills for the campaign so all your money goes to toys now over the weekend if you think about us and i hope you do you can donate online wfaa.com wfa.com slash santa selfers and if you donate online only the credit card fee is taken out and everything else goes to toys and we have a little secret about how we can buy the toys don't we we have a secret way to do it wholesale we that's can do it absolutely right so all the money that you donate definitely goes right to the kids and that's the good part of it right indeed there. before we give a final thought one thing our will rogers memorial center the uh, the select floors risky Barbecue, Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo, and Cowboy Santas. Thanks for your help tonight as well. Yeah, it was it was a great night, Troy. And our Dallas drive-through is mm -hmm. Tuesday, so again you can participate again on Tuesday. And as Troy mentioned, online at any time. Let's get right into it. Let's show you what we have happening outside tonight. There's our weather bug. Very good chance of rain. Troy, it looks like it could be a real good soaking for Absolutely. the area. I don't want that to deter anyone with the Dallas Santas Ooh, Helpers no. drive-through on Tuesday. Anyway. But uh, again, folks can donate online. We we put a big dent in things tonight and we, we still did. need a lot of help don't we well big Tex, it's time to put the plug in the jug for tonight <laughs> but come see us tuesday night in dallas at our new victory studios that's right. and at 606 young street have a good weekend all right see you john all right we'll see you guys at santa's helpers 2006 come down to victory plaza drop off some toys for the kids guys you'll get to meet the maverick dancers and help the kids out rain in the forecast too the details are next it has become simply a holiday tradition here at Channel 8. That's why for the past 37 years we've collected toys for Santa's helpers, and for 31 of those years, Troy Duncan has led the drive. Well, this year, he and Pete Delkus teamed up to crisscross North Texas, collecting gifts for the needy. Now, unfortunately, today is the last toy drive, folks. Troy Duncan is outside our Dallas studio, standing by live, and Pete Delkus is live outside our new studio at Victory Plaza. Pete? 
Well, Jeff, you, you are right. We're here at Victory Plaza, right in front of American Airlines Center. We're going to be here tonight from 5 to 10. Troy's going to be over on Young Street at the Channel 8 Studios from 5 to 10. And again, we need your help. We're going to be here throughout the night collecting toys for the kids. Stop on down and see us. The Mavs dancers are here. American Airlines has given away 10 pair of tickets. That's 10 round trip tickets for a couple. And it will take you anywhere in the 48 uh, contiguous United States, Canada, Mexico. So again, every 50 cars will get a pair of tickets. Stop down and see us for certain. A number of thank yous tonight go out to American Airlines Center in Hillwood for providing us, uh, again, this great location. FedEx trucks and volunteers, American Airlines themselves, Dallas Maverick dancers, the Mavs man, uh, Dallas Stars Ice Girls and Santa Claus is uh, just coming in on a sleigh here, kids, in just a few minutes. On the border, Perks and Provisions, Nintendo donated several games. And again, our, our corporate sponsors, Cadbury Schweppes, Don Davis, DR Horton, and Tom Thumb. Troy Dungan, you're over on Young Street at the Channel 8 Studios. You have some thank yous tonight as well, too, oh, don't you? Absolutely. We're already off to a good start. Lots of folks have come to see us. I want to thank Dynamics for helping us out tonight with the trucks. Ducky Bob's helped us out with a discount for the tent, which we're going to need. Uh, Brinker, we're going to see them later. they got a big gift for us. Select Floors, they've been helping us with logistics on the border and perks and provisions, writing food and drink for the volunteers. Now, as we said, this is the last night, and we are desperately in need of toys for kids. There are kids that we know their names and they're not going to have any Christmas presents unless you come down and help us tonight, the last night. We'll be talking to you a bunch more during the evening, but I think we also need to let Pete tell us about the weather. Not too bad yet, Pete. What's happening? I'll tell you what, Troy. We just have a little bit of drizzle here in downtown Dallas, but the intensity with the rain is definitely going to pick up as the night moves along. But again, don't worry. If you want to come down and drop off the toys, you don't have to get out of the car. We've got some tents here. We'll walk right up to the car and get the packages for the toys from you. So again, uh, don't let that discourage you tonight. Temperatures are pleasant outside right now and as you look at News 8 DoppleNet you can see for yourself that we do indeed have just a little bit of rain. It's Sunday is indeed Christmas Eve day. Maybe a few flakes of very wet snow on Sunday leading us into the day Christmas Day itself on Monday. But again Santa's helpers it's our Dallas drive through Stop by and see us here at American Airlines Center over on Young Street at the Channel 8 Studios. Troy and I and a cast of hundreds will be out tonight until 10. We'll see you later. <laughs> okay. I thought Thanks, he was going to say a cast of characters. Well, that too. He wasn't talking I. about those characters dressed in blue behind him, <laughs> no, was he? No, no. he wasn't. No. Just a reminder, we're going to be collecting toys for Santa's helpers through the night. That's right. We're trying to beat last year's drive when 73,000 toys were collected. That was a lot. Our downtown studio at 606 Young Street will be taking toys until 10 p.m. tonight. And we'll also be accepting toys, as we just said, at our Victory Studio until 10. So Pete will be in one place. Troy will be in the other. There'll be... Macy will be out there at some point. I'll be out. We'll all be out there. So come on down and see us and drop off a toy. It's for a great cause. It is so much fun. Come join the festivities. We'll see you then. Good night. Good night. It's the last night for Santa's helpers. Gary and Macy and Amy and I are in downtown Dallas, 60 Yuck Young Street, WFAA. Pete's over to American Airlines Center with some of his friends. Please come help us with the toys tonight. Well, it's a big night for our Santa's Helpers campaign. So big, in fact, we're at two different locations. That's right. We start with Troy Duncan, who's outside the WFAA building in downtown Dallas. So how's it going out there right now, Troy? Thank you, Jeff and Gore. It's the last night for Santa's Helpers. You've got to come help us tonight, please. As they said, I'm outside the Channel 8 Studios, Young and Record Streets near Houston Street. A lot of volunteers to thank FedEx and Dynamics, both behind us here helping with logistics. Tom Thumb, you know, and my good buddy Rick Horton from DR Horton Homes. Couldn't do it without you, my friend. Thank you so much. Now, that's where we are, just outside the Channel 8 Studios. It's the last night, as I always say at this time of year, but I'm not kidding. We really need a lot more toys or there will be some kids on Christmas morning that don't get anything. You don't want that to happen. But it's two locations instead of one this time. If you can't get over to see me, Pete Delkus is over near American Airlines Center. Pete, how's it going? Troy, we're having a great time over here. As a matter of fact, we've had some very, very generous donations tonight. We want to thank everyone that has come out, and we want to, of course, encourage everyone to come out as we head through the rest of tonight. We've got a cast of hundreds here, Troy. Mike Castellucci, you've got some friends with you tonight as well? Yeah, that's right. I don't know why you're introducing me, because they're the Mavs dancers right here. Oh, yeah. Also the Della Stars Ice Girls yeah, they are. right there. And uh, Mavs Man, Mavs Man right there, and another man. 
the FedEx man. That's right, right. The, the, FedEx. the FedEx men are hauling away all the toys That's tonight. Exactly right. We want to thank you guys for being out here helping us, and mom, dad, and all the kids that are coming down. Everyone's signing autographs tonight, so bring the kids down as well. They'll get some autographs from the girls, from the guys, and thank you guys very much for being down here. We sure appreciate it. Okay, let's get right into weather. It may end with a few flakes of wet snow Sunday night. So that's in the forecast. Again, just some rain falling right now. Troy and I are going to be out here in downtown Dallas here at Victory and also at 606 Young Street until 10 o'clock tonight. And Jeff and Glory, I want you to know, you tell Hanson he's not the only one that gets cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget Santa's helpers tonight. Come bring a toy. Good night. See you at 10. Well, it has been quite a while since we've seen some good rain. Pete Delkas is outside in our sprinkles tonight with Santa's helpers. Pete. Well, Gloria, you're absolutely right. We've had some sprinkles. We've had some patchy drizzle, but it has been a great night tonight here at uh, Victory Plaza American Airlines Center. We have gathered thousands of toys for the kids tonight here and hundreds of dollars here just at Victory alone. So tonight has been a huge success. We definitely want to thank some folks that turned out to help us tonight. American Airlines Center in Hillwood, a big thank you to them. All of our volunteers tonight, the folks from FedEx for donating the trucks and the volunteers that came out tonight and donated their time and their back and picking up all of these toys. American Airlines, we gave away 20 round trip tickets tonight. So a big thank you to the folks at American Airlines for donating that. The Dallas Maverick dancers, the girls came out tonight. Mavs man, the Dallas Stars ice girl, Santa Claus was here as well for the kids that came down and on the border for the food for all of the volunteers. Perks and provisions, the hot drinks, their volunteers as well. And Nintendo donated several games to us tonight as well. So Troy Dungan, we've had a great time here at Victory in front of American Airlines Center, and I know you guys have had a good night tonight over at the Channel 8 Studios as well. We have you? indeed, Pete. In fact, the West End Association just arrived. Here are their members, Dallas County Tax Offices, West End Pub, Tomlinson Lees, Hansboro, Fast Signs, and what do they bring us? A check for $18,000. And a trolley full of toys as well. Thank you. You guys are the best as always. Brinker, later, other, earlier this evening, brought us a bunch of toys and $10,000. Thank you to Brinker. Boys for Toys just showed up with a huge truck. You guys always save us at the last minute. Thank you for that. Uh, WFAA and the Dallas Morning News employees who volunteer tonight, tons of you folks. Lions Clubs from all over the places, great volunteers. John Lambert, a guy who's worked with us for years. Thank you, John, for being here. Jeff Tingley and Amy Sheehan are the toy counters and distributors this year. And our four major sponsors, Cadbury Schweppes, America's Beverages, Don Davis Auto Group, Tom Thumb is hanging around here somewhere, and D.R. Horton, there's Rick, and Dynamex and FedEx for your help. It's been great. Tomorrow, we'll tell you how we did. God bless you and Merry Christmas. Pete, I'll see you tomorrow. How about some weather? Troy, it sounds good. We'll see you tomorrow. By the way, Troy, you look like Peter Sellers tonight. Very Peter handsome. Sellers. Very okay, handsome, I might add. <laughs> all right, we have had a nice time tonight. And again, let's get in and talk a little bit about the rain. Let's head first of all to News 8 Doppler Net, and you can see for yourself just sprinkles out here right now. Now, Gloria, we are here at Victory Plaza, right in front of American Airlines Center. And I tell you what, this is an absolutely beautiful facility. I want you to take a look at a little bit of video that we took earlier today, and you'll be able to see just what things look like. The dirt is flying fast at Victory Plaza, and it has to because the premier celebration is one month away. Today, crews did more tests on the rolling media screens. The four will separate or move on one track. There you go, right there. And developers hope the attraction will bring in visitors from the around the world. It's kind of like Times Square in Dallas. And listen to this. They have 11 of those video screens. $30 million. Wow. What a, what a sight to Woo. see. It's a beautiful facility. Santa's helpers to success. More tomorrow. All right. That's good news. Thanks a lot, Pete. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Troy Dungan <laughs> and Pete Delkus. Channel 8 Santa's helpers toy drive is back and we need your help. Here's how it works. Bring a new and unwrapped toy to any of our convenient drop-off locations or Donate online. Get all the details at WFAA.com and help us light up the lives of area kids. Sponsored by Cadbury Schweppes, America's Beverages, Don Davis Auto Group, D.R. Horton, America's Builder, Tom Thumb, Ingredients for Life. And thanks from your friends at Channel 8, the spirit of Texas. It's Santa's Helper's Toy drive through Time. Thursday, come to the shops at Legacy from 4 to 7 p.m. and drop off a new unwrapped toy to light up the lives of area kids. From the Santa's Helper sponsors, and Chen Lee, the spirit of Texas. It's Santa's Helper's toy drive through time. 
Wednesday, come to the Frisco Central Fire Station in Safety Town from 4 to 7 and drop off a new unwrapped toy to light up the lives of area kids. From the Santa's Helper Sponsors and Channel 8, the Spirit of Texas. It's Santa's Helper's Toy drive through Time. Friday, come to the Will Rogers Memorial Coliseum from 5 to 10 p.m. and drop off a new unwrapped toy to light up the lives of area kids. From the Santa's Helper Sponsors and Channel 8, the Spirit of Texas. It's Santa's Helper's Toy drive through Time. Tuesday, come to the WFAA Downtown Studios or the Studios at Victory Plaza from 5 to 10 p.m. and drop off a new unwrapped toy to light up the lives of area kids. From the Santa's Helper Sponsors and Channel 8, the Spirit of Texas. It's that time of year again, and it's time to say thanks from the Santa's Helper's Toy Drive. Thanks to all of you, thousands of special North Texas children will have a very happy holiday season. From those who donated toys, to the tireless volunteers, to all of our wonderful sponsors, Cadbury Schweppes, America's Beverages, Don Davis Auto Group, D.R. Horton, America's Builder, Tom Thumb, Ingredients for Life. We'd like to give all of you a big Channel 8 Spirit of Texas thank you. It may be fall, but we're already looking ahead to the holidays. Today, Don Davis Auto Group sponsored a golf tournament to benefit WFAA's Santa's Helpers Toy Drive, and it is a great start. Don Davis handed over a $55,000 check, money collected from employees and Don Davis vendors. Pete joins me now, and Pete, to put yourself in the middle of a tornado, you would never recommend it. it is so dangerous, but oh, uh, we had somebody that did that. Not against. It is that time of year again. WFAA Santa's Helper Toy Drive is now officially underway, so it's time to start getting the toys ready to help needy children all across North Texas. For 41 years now, WFAA has helped collect millions of toys. Last year alone, you brought in Here some 75,000. They went to more than 50,000 kids in Dallas, Tarrant, Collin, and Denton counties. So Pete joins us right now. He's live in the Uptown Village in Cedar Hill. So Pete, it's uh, time to get this thing fired up, and tonight's a special competition to get going. Well, that's right, John, and we're going to have more on that in just a couple of minutes. So we have all the areas here in the southwestern part of uh, Dallas County that are in a competition. They want to see what city can bring in the most toys. And again, more on that. We're going to have some representatives we're going to talk to here in just a couple more minutes. But it is the 41st annual Santa's Helper. Santa's Helpers 2010 has begun here at Uptown Village in Cedar Hill. And there's Santa. Santa, how are you? I'm wonderful. Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas to you. We're going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight. If people want to stop down, drop off a new unwrapped toy, they can do that. The folks from Chick-fil-A are here giving away chicken sandwiches to everybody oh, that yeah. comes down. So how about a little, a little encouragement from Santa Don't Claus himself? Please come out. Come on down and see us. Merry Christmas. That's right. Ho, ho, ho. And, and the kids can see Santa tonight. Stop by and see us. We have some folks that have just dropped off a few toys just a couple minutes ago. The line continues. Here's a lady stopping in right now. She's dropping off a new unwrapped toy. If you can't make it to the Uptown Village here in Cedar Hill, you can log on to our website, wfaa.com slash Santa's Helpers. And it's easy enough. Just get on that website and make an online donation. Otherwise, this is one of uh, five drive throughs that we're doing. First night here in Cedar Hill, you can drop off a new unwrapped toy. We'll be here through the 10 o'clock news. Stop down and see me, Santa, the folks from Chick-fil-A, and a cast of hundreds are going to be here tonight, John and Shelley. So we're looking forward to our 40, 41st annual Santa's Helpers. All right, thanks a lot, Pete. You know, if you can't make it to the nice drop-off, again, we have several of them. They are scheduled, as Pete told you, between now and Christmas. Just go to our website to find one close to you. You can also make a donation online while you're there. House Republicans have blocked legislation to provide more free school lunches for need. All right, well, Pete is not in the studio today because it is that time of year again. Yeah, doesn't have a badge either, do you, Pete? <laughs> no, I don't, John. I don't have a badge, but I've got a warm feeling in my heart because it's the 41st annual Santa's Helpers Toy Drive. We help 50,000 kids here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but we can't do it without you. We need your help. We're going to be here at Cedar Hill, the Uptown Village in Cedar Hill, until 10 o'clock tonight for our first toy drive of the year for Santa's helpers. Now I'll have more on that in just a moment, but we have had a beautiful day today across uh, all of North Texas. And as you take a look at weather bug, let's head to our Cedar Hill weather bug. And as we check that out, we have temperatures that are very, actually we're taking a look at Coppell High School where we have uh, temperatures right now. Goers and marathon runners, uh, I think the weekend should cooperate for everyone. It should be a nice one. But as I mentioned, John and Shelley, it is the 41st annual Santa's helpers toy drive and we have a competition this year. Let me 
bring in Corky Brown. Corky, you're the PR manager for the city of Cedar Hill. Yes, that's and, right. and a competition this year among the uh, area mayors, right? That's right. It's uh, it, The excitement's just now starting to build. You know, toys are starting to show up. And I know our mayor's going to be excited, but our mayor, Rob Frankie, challenged the other mayors of the best southwest cities, which includes Cedar Hill, DeSoto, Lancaster, and Duncanville, to see which town could bring the most toys out. So we're starting to see them show up now, and lots of toys are starting to pile up. Well, Corky, thank you very much for that information. And we're starting to put a few toys over here. As they put them out, they then package them up. And then, can we, Paul, can we get a look at this whiteboard back here? We have Cedar Hill, DeSoto, Duncanville, Lancaster, the best of southwest, the tally. We've just started, but remember, we will add to that tally as we head through the remainder of the night. We have all of Santa's elves out here. Santa, give us a big wave, buddy. Santa's out there too, waiting to see all the kids and all the folks from Chick-fil-A are here. If you stop by and drop off a new unwrapped toy for these kids, Chick-fil-A will give you a free chicken sandwich, a hot chicken sandwich. So John and Shelly, you can't beat that. Santa's Helpers 2010. If you can't make it to this Cedar Hill location tonight, you can always log on to WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers and make an online donation there too. All right, thanks so much, Pete. And I think that Cedar Hill might have a little leg up in part. Thanks to these students right here. Camille Holmes emailed me today. She's an English teacher at Cedar Hill's ninth grade center. She just emailed the parents and said, hey, can you help out with this? And sure enough, All right. more than 122 toys that are going to show up to Pete tonight. Sounds good. We'll be right back. Knock that down to three finalists. Thousands of North Texas children are, will have a merrier Christmas this year thanks to all of you. Here at Channel 8, of course, we've started our annual Santa's Helpers Toy Drive. The toys are given out to dozens of agencies that help kids. Last year, we collected more than 75,000 toys, and this year's organizers are hoping for even more. Pete Delkus is live in Cedar Hill tonight for our first drive through event of the year. Pete? Oh, that's right, John. We already have a, a large turnout of people. They've been dropping off toys for well over an hour right now. We're going to be here at the Uptown Village in Cedar Hill until uh, the 10 o'clock news ends tonight. So stop down and see us. We'd love for you to stop by. A little competition as you look off here to my left. The competition is between the mayors of these cities here in the southwestern part of Dallas County. Cedar Hill, DeSoto, Duncanville, and Lancaster. We're keeping a tally of the number of toys that have been dropped off tonight by all of those residents in those four cities and I'll have the total number for you tonight at 10 o'clock and tell you who the winner is. Remember, we're looking at Cedar Hill, DeSoto, Duncanville and Lancaster tonight. We have more folks that continue to drop off toys. So stop down and see us. We have Santa back here. Look at Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb and a cast of hundreds are here with us tonight. It's Santa's Helpers 2010, the 41st year that we have done this. 50,000 kids in North Texas need your help tonight or unfortunately they may not get a Christmas toy. So we need your help. We're going to be here till 10. More on Santa's helpers and are you ready for another blast of cold air and even a few flurries? All of that in the forecast. Those details coming up. Thanks a lot, Pete. Go to WFA.com for a full list of drop off locations and we'll have another drive through event. It'll be next Monday night at Safety Town in Frisco. Well, first they got public comment. Now it's almost time to vote. Challenging yeah. students to do acts of kindness. Wow, John, they've even got the flag corps out there. They're serious tonight, yeah. that UNT band. The University of North Texas outside right now, Pete. And uh, I tell you, I don't think you're going to be able to outdo them in terms of the noise. We're going to be here, here shortly. Well, John, I have a very large mouth. I'm going to give them a run for it tonight. We are having a great time down here in Cedar Hill. I, I thanks to everyone that's showing up. We have a great crowd back here. Tom Thumb is here tonight. The folks at Chick-fil-A, all of our sponsors are here. So my thanks to everyone for participating. We're going to be here at uh, Uptown Village at, at Cedar Hill until uh, right through the 10 o'clock news tonight. So stop down and see us. More on Santa's helpers in a moment, but let's head to Bray Elementary. It's our weather bug location right here in Cedar Hill. We had a beautiful sunset there tonight. The temperature, 60 temperature of 35 degrees. Greg Fields, That's Santa's cool. helpers, 41 years that uh, Channel 8 has been doing this. And a little competition tonight amongst the cities here yeah, in the southwestern here's part. Cedar Hill, Uptown Village for the uh, second year in a row. And there is a competition, best of the southwest. So all the cities out here, Cedarville, Cedar Hill, Duncanville, DeSoto, Lancaster, all competing to see who can bring the best, the most toys. Right now, Cedar Hill is on top. So all everybody in the community, come on out. Great night out here. So come on out. We'd love to see you. Sounds great. We'll yeah. be here until 1030 tonight. All right. Have a good time out there. We'll be back with sports in a moment. begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday. 
All right, I was out in Cedar Hill with Pete mm -hmm. and we did very well. There was a competition between Cedar Hill, yeah. Duncanville, DeSoto, but we had people come from as far away as Waxahachie. Well, we knew that Cedar Hill wasn't gonna be uh, put in the second place, right Pete? Well, that's right, John. As a matter of fact, Cedar Hill, as I look at the board behind me, Cedar Hill by five times beat DeSoto. DeSoto by five times, uh, let's see, Duncanville by about six times, and Lancaster, oh man, Lancaster barely showed up tonight, John. But it was a success for everybody. I want you to know that we did have a great time tonight at Uptown Village in Cedar Hill. And I'm going to have more on Santa's helpers in just a second, but I've been talking about cold weather throughout the day. It's on its way. I want you to check out what's happening specifically on Weatherbug right now. And yes, let's head to Cedar Hill to the fire station there. And as you check out these temperatures at this of 35 degrees, so a chilly start to the marathon on Sunday morning, but all of the runners love that cool weather as they go 26.2 miles Sunday morning for the White Rock Marathon. Tonight, though, Uptown Village at Cedar Hill, we had a great night tonight. My thanks to everyone. My thanks to everyone that showed up tonight and dropped off a toy. Our sponsors, Chick-fil-A, Don Davis Auto Group, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, Tom Thumb, uh, at Couriers, my thanks to them. Jerry at Hart Brothers Waste Removal. The Diner at Cedar Hill. Uh, Witch Witch, Italia Express, Uptown Popcorn, and the Alpha Fees. A lot of folks played into our success here tonight, John and Gloria. But a very, very special thanks to everyone that stopped out tonight and dropped off toys. This was a very successful start to Santa's Helpers 2010. And we'll look forward to seeing everyone at Frisco at Safety Town on Monday for our drive through number two again that's Santa's Helpers drive through number two Monday night up in Frisco at Safety Town. We'll see you then. All right. Thanks a lot, Pete. A warm welcome down south, but worship in his name. Well, the spirit of Christmas is already in the air and it's time to start giving. Thousands of North Texas children can really use your help. And Pete is live out at Frisco Safety Town tonight for our Santa's Helpers event. Hoping you'll come out to help tonight. Pete, how's it going so far? Well, I tell you what, Casey, so far so good. Uh, you mentioned thousands of uh, children in North Texas. We actually have 50,000 kids that need your help this holiday season because without your help, they won't get a toy. So here's all you have to do. We're in Frisco. We're here at the main fire station right at Safety Town. Stop by and see us. We're going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight. You can drop off a new unwrapped toy. The folks from Chick-fil-A are here giving away hot Chick-fil-A sandwiches. The folks from Dr. Pepper are here too. And as you can see behind me, stop by, parents parents with uh, the kids. We've got Santa Claus is here. Tom Thumb is here. So we're going to have a good crowd tonight. We will be here until 10. And if for some reason you can't stop by and see us in Frisco here at Safety Town, the main fire station, you can always make an online donation. Just log on to WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll have more on tonight's event. And of course, that forecast warmer weather. I promise it's in the forecast. Those details coming up. All right, thanks, Pete. And if you cannot make it out to tonight's drop off event, we do have several scheduled between now and Christmas. Just go to our website to find one that's closest to you. You can also make that donation that Pete was talking about online while you're there at WFAA.com. Well, feel a cold coming on. There's a new bug. Go tell. Okay, Casey Cedar Hill had a good showing, yep. but let's see what Collin County can do tonight. Pete's in Frisco. Hey, Pete, how's it going so far? Well, I tell you what, guys, we're doing pretty well so far. We've had a good little turnout. We just got started here. Again, we have 50,000 kids across North Texas that need your help this year with our Santa's Helpers Toy Drive. And all you have to do is stop up here at Safety Town at the main fire station right here on Main Street in Frisco and drop off a new unwrapped toy. We'll be here right through the 10 o'clock news tonight, so we'll look forward to seeing you. And I'm going to have more uh, on Santa's Helpers 2010 in just a second, but let's get into our weather. And since we are in Frisco, let's start with our Safety Town weather bug and we do have mostly clear skies outside right now. Temperature 55 degrees, but uh, the weather looks nice, but it's all about Santa's helpers and Chris Flanagan from our daybreak crew is here with us and Chris, we've got a lot of folks that are making this all possible tonight, we don't do. we? We've got a lot of people coming through already and a lot of great sponsors out here and here they are back here with Santa giving us a big hello here at Frisco at Safety Town. I'd like to say thank you to Chick-fil-A, Don Davis Auto Group, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group and also Tom Thumb. So a lot of these people making it happen uh, for so many kids here in North Texas. A really good showing so far here we at Safety Town. We have a good showing. We're going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight. Can we show? we got some cars that are coming through right now, Paul, as uh, we've got a few folks that are here dropping off some toys for us. So we want to encourage you to do the same. Stop up and see us tonight. We're here at Safety Town on Main Street, right here at the main fire station in Frisco. And um, 
10 o'clock tonight. And if you can't stop up, WFA.com slash Santa's Helpers, you can always make an online donation. So let's encourage everyone, Chris. Yeah, so far so good. Have come out. Sounds good. Awesome. All right, Chris and Pete, you guys stay warm out there, and hopefully we'll get a lot more toys for the kiddos. I have faith we will, and we'll be right back. Reports every Monday morning at 620 on News 8 Daybreak. Okay, do not forget Santa's helpers tonight in Frisco. You can see Pete, you can say hi to Chris Flanagan, and please bring a toy. Have a great night. Odd. I'm Pete Delkus live in Frisco for Santa's Helpers 2010. We need your help. We're up here at Safety Town. You can stop by and drop off a new unwrapped toy. We'll be here through the 10 o'clock news tonight. I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. More on tonight's Santa's Helpers event and your complete forecast all coming up. Competition that's still ahead. And we need your help tonight to make Christmas brighter for children in need. One toy can make a big difference. Just drop it off tonight at Safety Town in Frisco. We're back with more after this. Time or place for that meeting. Well, right now we are talking Christmas and we need gifts for all the kids out there that might not have a Christmas. Up there in Collin County tonight, that's where we find uh, Pete Delkus, who is waiting for more folks to drop off some toys for the kiddos. Pete? Well, I tell you what, Casey and Gloria, we sure are. We need some help tonight. We have 50,000 kids in North Texas that without your help, they may not get a Christmas gift this year. And it's hard to believe that in 2010 that may occur. But with your help, we won't have to worry about that. Just drop off a new unwrapped toy here in Frisco at Safety Town, right on Main Street, right here at the main fire station in Frisco. And you can help one of these kids have a very Merry Christmas. More on that in just a second. More on Santa's helpers. And let's get into the weather. And I want to start with weather bug. I want to start, of course, with our Safety Town weather bug. And as we check things out outside right now, a weekend on Sunday, a high temperature of 49. Chris Flanagan, it's late for you. You should be in bed, but I'm glad you're here with us tonight. It's definitely worth it, Pete. What it a healthy is. crowd, healthy uh, crowd coming up tonight. And this is great. And a lot of folks making this possible tonight, really, right? Yeah, we have so many wonderful sponsors, Chick-fil-A, Dr. Pepper, uh, Snapple Group. Some of our sponsors back here, uh, Don Davis Auto Group, Tom Thumb as well. So a big thank you to all our sponsors. And Santa's look at the man here. in the middle. That's right. Santa. Santa's here tonight. Santa and a lot of his elves out here. And You know, you can upload your pictures and videos. We'd love to see it. You can also see ours at WFAA.com slash Santa's helpers. So we'd love to see all the pictures and videos. Out there. We'd like to see those pictures. Yeah. We have pictures and videos from last week down at Cedar Hill. Uh, last Thursday at Cedar Hill. We're going to turn out. Continue to put pictures on our website tonight. Mm -hmm. And if folks can't stop by in Frisco tonight to uh, make a, a drop off, a toy drop off, a new unwrapped toy, they can always donate online. WFA.com yep. slash Santa's helpers. So we're going to be here tonight. Folks have already been stopping by. They have dropped off a lot of toys already. But we, again, Chris, have 50,000 kids that need your help, so we want to encourage you to stop by. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group's here, Chick-fil-A. Yep. Marty Graman from Brooklyn's Pizza's here. You have Best some pizza. pizza. You know, I had never had it before. It's out of this world. Brooklyn's outstanding. Pizza. Outstanding. It is outstanding. outstanding. We love pizza. it. So Top, thanks to Marty. Top them as well. So thanks to everybody uh, who's coming out and donating. Sounds good. Wonderful we look forward night. to seeing you. Casey, Gloria, back to you guys. All right. Start well, lining up those cars. That's right. Well, we're talking yeah. college football. Yeah, right? yeah, it was a big day yesterday. I'm not getting the BCS championship game, but it's a, it's a nice consolation. It is Very still nice. pretty cool. Let's yeah. take a look now, another live look out at Frisco. There's Pete. He's asking you to bring out a toy or two or more because we're collecting toys at Safety Town in Frisco for our Santa's Helpers Toy Drive. Of course, we need thousands of toys because I believe there's about 50,000 kids who need them. Yep, Pete will be out there till 10 o'clock tonight and we'll get an update on the News 8 update at 10. So go by and see him. We'll see you at 10. From WFAA Channel 8, this is a Santa's Helpers Toy Drive update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pete Delkus, live in Frisco at Safety Town. We're right here on Main Street, right at the main fire station. We want you to stop by and see us tonight at Santa's Helpers 2010. Our toy drive continues, and we need your help. We have 50,000 kids in North Texas that may go without a Christmas gift unless you stop by and drop off a new unwrapped toy tonight. We have a line of folks that have uh, been dropping off toys, stop by and see us in Frisco at Safety Town.
from WFAA Channel 8, this is a Santa's Helper's Toy Drive Update. Good evening again, everyone. I'm Pete Delkus, live in Frisco at the main fire station right here on Main Street. It's Santa's Helpers 2010. We're in a bit of a slowdown right now. We have a lot of folks here, but we need some more help. We need some toys. We're going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight. We have plenty of Santa's Helpers right here to help collect toys. Stop down and see us downtown Frisco at the Central Fire Station. From WFAA Channel 8, this is a Santa's Helper's Toy Drive Update. Good evening again, everyone. I'm Pete Delkus, live in Frisco at Safety Town, right here on Main Street. We need your help. Look at this. We have all of Santa's helpers up here tonight. Tom Thumb, Santa himself, and the Chick-fil-A cows are here. But we don't have any people dropping off toys. We need your help. 50,000 kids in North Texas need toys. Santa's helpers in Frisco, stop by and see us. Now the permanent marker honoring Tippett. Well, Pete is out in the cold tonight hoping to get some help on our Santa's Helper's but toy drive. But yeah, warming a few uh, hearts out there by collecting some toys, Pete. Well, that's right, Casey. We sure are. And I'm not going to complain about the cold because it was one year ago today we were here in Frisco at Safety Town doing Santa's Helpers 2009, and it was sleeting. It turned in from a toy drive into a weather live shot where we were talking about the sleet in Frisco. Not the case tonight. It is a little on the chilly side, but we've had a very nice turnout tonight, and I want to thank everyone that did show up. You can still donate, although we've come to an end tonight here in Frisco. You can still donate online at WFAA.com slash. Santa's helpers and more on that in just a moment. But let's first of all talk about those temperatures and the forecast. Temperatures outside right now in Safety Town on Weatherbug. It is chilly of 55 degrees. We did have a very nice turnout tonight. I do want to thank everyone that showed up. Lots of folks stopped by tonight. They dropped off toys. We had a great time. It was always happy to see the smile on all the kids' faces when they saw Santa Claus tonight. Chris Flanagan was with us too from our Daybreak crew. My thanks to Chris for stopping by uh, throughout a good chunk of the evening hours. Santa, of course, always a very popular hit. He was here, too, making all the kids happy, giving away lots of candy canes. And a lot of thank yous go out tonight to a lot of folks as we come back live now to Frisco. Uh, a lot of thank yous go out tonight. We had a lot of folks that uh, this wouldn't have been possible had they not shown up. And here's a good group of them right now. All of our sponsors, let's not forget them, the folks from Chick-fil-A, Don Davis Auto Group, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, Tom Thumb, uh, the Northwood Women's Club. They showed up tonight, made a huge donation. So did the Texas Glass Association. FedEx is hauling away all of the toys. The ladies from the Frisco High School uh, softball team were here. And my good buddy Marty from Brooklyn's Pizza stopped by, and Marty helped feed all of the volunteers here tonight. If you want to upload your pictures from tonight's event, videos, just check us out at WFA.com slash slash Santa's helpers. We uploaded all some videos and pictures from last week at Cedar Hill. We are doing the same tonight from our Frisco drive through so you can just log on to WFA.com slash Santa's helpers and you can see those videos and those pictures too. So again, Gloria, Casey, it was another great night tonight. My thanks to everyone. If you weren't able to make it tonight, we're going to be in Grapevine Thursday night for our third Santa's Helpers drive through of the year. And again, if you want to make an online donation, that website, once again, WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers. You know, I, I think if Pete would have just talked a little bit longer, Christmas would be over. Uh, <laughs> yeah. we, we were that close. I mean, he could have started talking about Valentine's Day gifts or something. But we're talking about yeah. this requires the money to be matched locally. Thousands of North Texas children are in need this Christmas, and now is your chance to help through our Santa's Helpers Toy Drive. We helped 75,000 kids last year. Chris Flanagan's live in Arlington at Don Davis Auto. We've got to beat that record, don't we, Chris? Uh, indeed, and I think we will, Shelly. So far, so good. We're out here at Don Davis Auto Group in Arlington, North Collins uh, Street, and so far, so good. It's been a steady stream of traffic coming through as folks now get off work here and dropping off uh, some toys here. This is the 10th year Don Davis Auto Group has been involved with Santa's Helpers, and they went out and raised a ton of money uh, through employee deductions. I'll tell you exactly how much coming up in a little bit, but um, people are coming through now. It was really neat. Once you drop off a toy, 
you get a free oil change at any one of the four Don Davis Auto Groups. So you donate a toy and leave with a free oil change. Not a bad deal. You're helping out yourself and also, of course, one of the 50,000 kids uh, who may not have a, uh, a toy under the Christmas tree uh, this Christmas. So, so far, so good out here. Have a really healthy uh, uh, stream of cars. Santa Claus out here as well, greeting folks as they come through. The TCU Choir as well. So we have a lot of festivities out here at the Don Davis Auto Group. We'll be out here until 8 o'clock tonight. So if you can come by and drop off a toy, that'd be great. But if you can't make it, no worries. You can still drop one off at any Don Davis Auto Auto Group between now and December 16th. So coming up a little bit later in this newscast, tell you how much the employees raised for the kids here in North Texas. We're live in Arlington. Ladies, back to you in the studio. Okay, looking very Christmassy in the red. Thank you, Chris. For more information on Santa's helpers, you can always go to our website, WFAA.com. An out of control driver leads police on a chase. What he heard to on Monday and 59 on Tuesday, but what a great night last night. My thanks to everyone that turned out for our Santa's Helpers drive through in Frisco. Chick-fil-A, Don Davis Auto Group, the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, and Tom Thumb. More thanks goes out to the Northwood Women's Club, the Texas Glass Association, FedEx, and my favorite pizza in the world, that's Brooklyn's Pizza. Marty Gramman was out, the owner of that. He always brings up dozens of pizza for all of the volunteers, so my thanks to Marty and all his folks at Brooklyn's Pizza. Tomorrow night, you can help out. See us in Grapevine at the Grapevine Train Depot. This will be our third Santa's Helpers drive through of the year. We will be there tomorrow night from 5 to 10. Stop by, drop off a new unwrapped toy. If you can't make it tomorrow, tonight in Arlington at one of our longtime sponsors, Don Davis Auto Group. That's where our Chris Flanagan is. is it Chris, these folks have really, the folks at Don Davis, they've done another great job supporting Santa's helpers this year, haven't they? Yeah, Pete Keating, they certainly have. They've been a great partner with us for the past 10 years helping out. We're here at North Collins Street in Arlington at Don Davis Auto Group. And so far, we're off to a fantastic start. The line already out the parking lot. So we just started a few minutes ago. Right now, I'm with Robert Howard, president of Don Davis Auto Group. And Robert, you guys are off to a phenomenal start. So far, so good. We really are. It's been fabulous. We things started at five o'clock, and well, as you see, we've had a line since five o'clock. So it's it's been a great, great start. And you've been busy handing out free oil changes. Folks come in, drop off a toy, and you get free oil change. Yeah, we we've been. It's been a great partnership with Channel Eight and Santa's Helpers over the last ten years, and uh, you know it's just been a great partnership. And how about your employees? I know you do a payroll deduction, and they have really, really stepped up this year. It's 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 phenomenal. Uh, you know we've got. A little over 400 employees, and uh, the the in excitement that they've had for the program this year through employee contributions, we collected a little over $31,000 from employees. And you can see we've got we'll have a lot of employees and families here tonight bringing toys, and families come. And it's it's been a great great thing for us. Well, Trevor, keep up the great work. We great appreciate great. it. And the Thank kids you. of North Texas really appreciate Thank it. You. They went out that $31,000 today, by the way, and went out and bought all those toys. So folks are coming through now as they get off work. Robert's handing out free oil changes. We'll be here until 8 o'clock tonight. And if you can't make it, no worries. You can still drop off a toy at any Don Davis Auto Group dealership between now and December 16th. And Pete, the weather not bad out here. So hopefully we'll see a lot of our friends down here coming through tonight, helping out the kids of North Texas. That's right. Thank you very much, Chris. If you wow. can't make it to one of the Don Davis Auto Group uh, locations or one of our toy drop-offs, WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers. You can make an online donation there. Or Gloria, they can even donate cash too. Right. We got some in Cedar Hill. $31,000. That's, right. That's amazing. Good yeah. Stuff. We'll be right back. Tuesday and Thursday at 620. Okay. Don't forget Santa's helpers in Arlington. Don Davis Auto Group. I hear Santa's out there too. Oh, uh, there with a little Santa's helper. Oh, little cutie pie. <laughs> See you at six. Which was 61 years old. The spirit of giving is usually greater this time of year, but we need your help more than ever with our Santa's Helpers program. And Channel 8's Chris Flanagan is live for us in Arlington with details on how you can make a difference tonight. Chris? Now, hi, Gloria. Yeah, we're after a great start. We're here at Don Davis Auto Group in Arlington. It started about uh, an hour ago, hour and 20 minutes ago, and the stream of cars has been steady all evening long. They're raising a ton of money, donating a lot of, uh, a lot of toys for about 50,000 needy kids who otherwise wouldn't have presents under the tree on Christmas morning. But take a look at the bikes and all the toys inside the service bay here. It's pretty, uh, it's been a great evening so far here. We'll be here until 8 o'clock tonight at Don Davis Auto Group. And you can't make it, you can still drop off a toy through December 16th at any one of the four Don Davis Auto dealerships. That's the reporting live from Arlington. I'm Chris Flanagan. Now back to you guys in the studio. See you a bit later on uh, News 8 at 6.
All right, thanks a lot. Some good folks out there. The Mavs are going for 10 in a row tonight. 3,000 remain. And we still need your help tonight donating toys for children in need. We are taking your Santa's Helpers donations at Don Davis Auto Center in Arlington tonight. And Tuesday's high 59. Last night was a great night. Our second drive through of the year for Santa's helpers. A special thanks goes out to Chick fil A, Don Davis Auto Group, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, and Tom Thumb. A very special thanks also to the new Conservatory of Dallas, the Frisco High School girls softball team, and Brooklyn's Pizza. They dropped off dozens of pizzas for all of the volunteers. So my thanks to Brooklyn's and uh, Marty Grayman, uh, one of my buddies who dropped off all those pizzas. Great job from him. And we have another drive through that is Thursday night. That's in Grapevine at the Grapevine Train Depot. December 9th, 5 to 10. Stop out and see us. Bring a new unwrapped toy. If you can't stop in Grapevine Thursday night, tonight, Chris Flanagan is in Arlington, and he's at uh, Don Davis, one of the Don Davis Auto Group uh, locations in Arlington. And Chris, the folks are doing a great job. We've had a lot of action there tonight, lots of toys, but we need more. Uh, we certainly do. As always, been a great, great start here tonight. Pete, we started at 5 o'clock, and the traffic has been real busy coming through all evening long. And you should see the toys inside the bay. I mean, they are just piling up here. The cool thing about the Don Davis Auto Group, they've been doing it 10 years now. Great partner with WFAA and Santa's Helpers. But you come here, you come through, you donate your toy, you get a free oil change at any one of the four Don Davis Auto Group locations. And the employees here, get this, they raised $31,000 for the Santa's helpers through payroll deductions. So it's been cool. They went out today and bought $31,000 worth of toys, donated all inside here. It's quite a sight. You see tons and tons of bikes and the toys just piling up. Santa's here. Even Santa says he's really impressed by the amount of toys that have come through. But we'll be here till 8 o'clock. If you can't make it, you can still drop off a toy at any one of the four Don Davis auto dealerships until December 16th. But so far, it's been a fantastic drop off here at Don Davis Auto Group. Back to you guys now in the studio. And if you can't make an, uh, a yeah. donation at one of the drive throughs you can also always make an online donation yeah. at WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers. By the way, the, the Emmy committee called, uh, <laughs> yeah. and they want their plaque yeah. now. They <laughs> disqualified. They, they were watching that. And I would, I, if you keep an audition tape, I, I, I'd burn that one. I, that, that's <laughs> I, just me. Uh, let's talk to uh, Maverick General Manager Donnie Nelson. We used to talk. Yeah, uh, thank God for kids again. All right, mark your calendars. And the Mavs and the Stars are helping out our Santa's Helpers toy yes, drive. Yes, they are. And let's go back out to Arlington where it looks like they're doing a bang up job. Yeah, they're out of Don Davis. Uh, Chris Flanagan's out there tonight and having a great time. You get a free oil change. Can't get beat that. No, you can't. See you then. Of 59 degrees, but Thursday, that is our next big uh, Santa's Helpers drive through. We had one last night in Frisco, and I want to thank everyone. Our sponsors, Chick-fil-A, Don Davis Auto Group, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, and Tom Thumb. want to thank them for their continued support. In addition to that, we had a number of other folks that came out and helped last night, too. The Northwood Woman's Club, the Texas Glass Association, FedEx, and the greatest pizza in the history of pizza. Marty Graman and Brooklyn's Pizza stopped out and donated dozens of pizza to all of our volunteers last night, so my thanks to Marty and Brooklyn's. In in addition to that, we do have another drive through. It is Thursday. It's at the <laughs> Grapevine Train Depot. 50,000 kids need your help. Stop by and drop off a new unwrapped toy. If you can't drop off a toy, you can always yeah. make an online donation. WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers. Dale, we've been doing this 41 years. How that's, many years? That's longer than you've been around. Uh, well, well, not by many. Here. Not by <laughs> many. No, but I tell you, if everybody that you would thank every night would just like bring one gift, we could send them back to China. Uh, <laughs> we, we'd, we'd, we'd have an overrun. Yeah. Well, we may. Well, we're going to talk a little sports no, now. Moving let's on let keep from weather and the <laughs> But he looks so nice. I'll I'll Come I'll on, give him. us some credit. I've got, I've got people uh, betting against us tonight, but it, there is an all-time <laughs> record in Granbury tonight. And all-time, all-time record, and we'll talk about that. Six. 
on Wednesday. Last night was a great night out in Arlington. My thanks, great. a huge thanks to the Don Davis Auto Group. They collected over 3,000 toys there last night. So again, a big thanks to the Don Davis Auto Group and all of the Don Davis employees really kicked in and made that possible last night. Additionally, the folks at Red Hot and Blue went to the Don Davis uh, toy drop off last night and they made a huge cash contribution. Oh. So a lot of thanks to go around last night. Now continued thanks to all of our sponsors, Don Davis Auto Group, Chick-fil-A, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, and Tom Thumb. And tomorrow night in Grapevine at the train depot, I'll be there from 5 to 10. We'll be doing another Santa's Helpers toy drop off. We'd like to see you. If you can't make it to Grapevine tomorrow, you can always make an online donation yep. at WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers. Made my donation today. Sounds good. Mrs. Morris, a very happy birthday to her this week. How much fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot She's of, got a, lot a of crush time. on Pete Del yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting red. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> All right. Wednesday, 66. Great night last night in Arlington. The folks at Don Davis, the Don Davis Auto Where Group, they collected yeah. 3,000 toys there, Dale. A big thanks goes out to all the Don Davis employees for making it a very special night last night. And the folks at Red Hot and Blue stopped over at the Don Davis Auto Don Group. Don Davis Auto Group. That's right. They donated a huge cash donation last wow. night. So this the, is the one in Arlington? This is the one yeah. in Arlington. So thanks to all of those folks <laughs> and a continued thanks to our sponsors, Chick-fil-A, mm. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, and Tom Thumb. Tomorrow night, it's our next drive through It's the Grapevine Train Depot. We'll be there from 5 to 10 collecting new unwrapped toys. If you can't make it, Dale, you can make a cash donation. That's right. WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers. Can't do that And Don sure. Davis yeah. last night, they, they, Don they, Davis they showed up big. Don Davis it was and, huge. Uh, Don Davis Auto Group, the one in Arlington. In Arlington. Yeah. And Have you ever met them? employees, right? And their employees. Actually, I think, I, I think Robert that. Howard did it all by himself. Right yeah. Now, so <laughs> he I'm may sure. have. You, you think? It's time for uh, Robert Hughes uh, to step aside because Lita Andrews has the record now. It took her a while, and she's going to keep this one a while, too. We'll talk about it next. Six degrees. One more note. Last night was the one of our Santa's Helpers uh, toy drop-offs. That was Where at was the it? Don Davis Auto Group in Arlington. Yeah. And all the folks from the Don Davis Auto Group did a great job for us last night. The employees really came through in the clutch. They collected over 3,000 toys last night at this one drop-off alone. So a very big thanks goes out to the folks at the Don Davis Auto Group. Not only that, but uh, the folks at Red Hot and Blue came to the Don Davis Auto Group last night, and they dropped off a large cash donation for our kids so we Man. thank everybody for that and we have a, a more thanks that goes out tonight to all of our sponsors check these out chick-fil-a there once again the don davis auto group dr pepper snapple group and tom thumb tomorrow night i'm going to be in grapevine for another santa's helpers toy drop off that's at the grapevine train depot i'll be there from five to ten stop by drop off a new unwrapped toy if you can't make it tomorrow night you can always donate online an online donation at wfaa.com um, slash Santa's helpers and Dale that is a tax deductible donation is it really? might add too. yeah, yeah. you know I what I like, love about he, Dale over here he's like so kids. humble yeah. he's so, he, he is humble. very humble no he's telling me all the rules in life he is exempt from over here during <laughs> your weather he's, oh I, that rule doesn't apply to <laughs> so doesn't? He, he wasn't listening to me uh, sorry I hear what you, said. Not this but you, time. Know, you know what's interesting about tonight is this but. is a real big night for Shelly I mean think of this she's really? here with the three of us yeah. oh wow yeah. I mean that Such doesn't happen greatness. all the time I like it we finally narrowed it down from you know Whatever that person's name is. <laughs> okay. Random. I'm, I'm going to be gone tomorrow. You guys get plenty of turn when she comes back. Uh, let's talk about the Cowboys. They get ready to play Philadelphia Sunday. A very good Philadelphia team, but then the Cowboys are pretty good now, too. We'll talk about it. Next. Touchdown. are expected to be finished by Sunday. Almost one in four children in Texas lives in poverty. They will have little, sometimes nothing this Christmas, but that's where you come in. With Santa's Helpers Together, we can help thousands of kids. Pete Delkis is live in Grapevine this time for a very big push. Hey, Pete. Well, that's exactly right, Shelley, and we want a lot of folks to come out tonight. On our Christmas list this year, we have 50,000 kids in North Texas that we want to help out, and you can do your part in helping out one, two, maybe more of those children this year. If you come out to the Grapevine uh, Train Depot, you too can help out one of these kids in North Texas. We have a lot of folks that have come out already. Uh, one of our sponsors is here, Tom Thumb. There's Santa, Mrs. Claus, the folks from Chick-fil-A are here. They're going to be giving out hot chicken sandwiches tonight to uh, 
Everybody that stops out and drops off a new unwrapped toy, we're here now at the Grapevine Train Depot. Stop out and see us. We will be here until 10 o'clock tonight. And Shelly and Gloria, we have Christmas music playing right now, don't we? And you're, it's certainly going to feel like Christmas by the time we get into Sunday because wait until you see that seven-day forecast. More on Santa's Helpers, the 41st annual Santa's Helpers and the coldest temperatures of the season all on the way. Those details coming up. All right, well, stay tuned. Thanks, Pete. Hey, if you can't make it by tonight, don't sweat it. You can go to our website, WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers. That's where you can either make an online donation or you can find a list of drop-off sites near your house. Still to come here at 5, disappointing and disturbing. That is from health experts as attend these performances. Wow. That's a lot Impressive. of people. Yes, it is Prestonwood. It's huge. That church is huge and they do so much. But speaking of Christmas and the sounds of Christmas, let's get over to Pete Delkus. He's in Grapevine with the music in the background and Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Right. I wish, I wish oh, we could have one. Oh, that's right. How's That's it going? Right, Shelly, lots, lots of hot Chick-fil-A sandwiches tonight. Here's the story. Chick-fil-A comes out and they give away thousands of chicken sandwiches at every one of these toy drives. If you stop out and you drop off a, a new unwrapped toy for Santa's helpers, you too can have a Chick-fil-A sandwich. So come on out and see us tonight. We already have a lot of folks that are here. Tom Thumb, the Chick-fil-A cows are here. Santa and Mrs. Claus and a lot of helpers are here with us too tonight. We're going to have a big crowd. We're expecting a large turnout. We need your gifts. We need your toys. 50,000 thousand kids in North Texas need some help this Christmas and I know how North Texans are always show up to show a lot of support and let's not let tonight be an exception to that. Stop out and see us at the Great Fine Train Depot. More on that in just a second. Alvarado. Let's head there on Weatherbug, where the temp middle and then the end of next week. I want to introduce you to somebody. This is Barry Lewis, and Barry, you're the director of marketing for Grapevine Convention and Visitors Bureau. We, of course, want to encourage everyone to come out and drop off toys tonight right here at the train depot in Grapevine. Absolutely. We'd love to see everybody come out tonight. We are the Christmas capital of Texas. We've got, just got a wonderful community out here. We're glad to have you all out here tonight. So. so after folks stop out and drop off a new unwrapped toy for Santa's helpers, City of Grapevine has other things to see right here at the train depot, too. Right? Absolutely. Tonight we actually have our inaugural Christmas wine train. Come on, hop aboard our vintage railroad, enjoy some of our grapevine wines. We also have a hot chocolate junction going on tonight. We have our light show spectacular tonight. It's a spectacular synchronized music show. It starts at 6 o'clock tonight, runs until midnight. Any other activities here that folks can do not only tonight, but as we head throughout oh, the rest of the Christmas absolutely. season? Absolutely. We have our North Pole Express, which is this weekend and next weekend. We have Christmas on Main, which is reindeer games with Santa. We have Santa on stilts that plays reindeer games with the kids. Santa on stilts. Santa on stilts. It's, wow. it's a great it's a great thing. <laughs> we have the, the ice out at the Gaylord Texan. A spectacular exhibit. It's two million pounds of ice this year. It's Charlie Brown and Snoopy and all of his uh, Christmas friends. So it's a great, great opportunity. But in Grapevine is now the, the Christmas capital of Texas, we huh, Barry? The official Christmas capital of Texas. The state Senate proclaimed that last year, and it's a designation we're very proud of. Well, so. I like that. And a lot happening always throughout the year in Grapevine, but certainly a lot happening right now during the holiday season. So, Barry, we do want to encourage everyone to come out tonight. See us here at the Grapevine Train Depot. Santa's Helpers continues. We have 50,000 kids that need your help. This is the 41st annual Santa's Helpers toy drive. Remember, 50,000 kids, we need a new unwrapped toy. And as you look behind us here, we have Tom Thumb, we have Chick-fil-A, and we have the North Pole Express back there, too. Barry just mentioned that. So a lot of folks are coming out tonight. Mrs. Claus, Santa are here. Bring the kids out. It's always great for them to see the kids. And we have some very special guests that are here tonight with us, too. Uh, some of these. And tell us what these dogs do. Uh, they're therapy dogs. They go to hospitals, nursing homes. They work with special needs and autistic children. And they also go to the airport. We meet the uh, veterans coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq when we can. Well, and so. I know we I know we've worked with you guys in the past, and we're going to yeah. talk to you a little bit more at six. But this is kind of our version tonight, Gloria and Shelley, of polar bears. We have two of these great dogs out here, so we'd like to continue to encourage people to stop out and see us at the Grapevine Train Depot. We'll be here doing Santa's helpers until 10 o'clock tonight. All right, good luck, Pete. Well, in today's Our Neighbor, we'll tell you about a special group. At yes, a lot to watch on TV tonight. We'll see you at 6. Have a great evening. Well, it is one of the most rewarding times of year for us here at Channel 8, becoming Santa's helpers to make sure kids get the Christmas they deserve. And our chief helper, that is Pete Delkus, is in Grapevine tonight for our latest drive-through event. Pete, how's it going? 
Well, I tell you what, Gloria, I, I want you to know it's actually a little slow. We've only had a few cars coming through here at the Grapevine train depot. So we you can hear the toot of the train in the background here, but we really do need your help tonight. We have 50,000 kids that need toys. If they don't get a toy with our Santa's Helpers toy drive, they may not have one under the Christmas tree on Christmas morning. So stop up, bring us a new unwrapped toy. It is that time of year. I'm going to talk more about the weather in just a couple of minutes, but let me show you this. This is what it's all about. This little one right here. This is Shiley Marie. Stop out and see Shiley, Santa, Mrs. Claus, and Mom is here too with us tonight. We've got uh, Tom Thumb. We have Chick-fil-A. You get a free Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. And how about that cute little four-month-old girl right there, Gloria and Shelly? She is precious, isn't she? Stop out and see us. The Grapevine Train Depot will be here for Santa's Helpers 2010 until 10 o'clock tonight. All right, Pete, it's just me right now. Shelly will be back at 10, the 6220. And now let's take another live look at our Santa's Helpers drive through event tonight. This is in Grapevine there at the depot. There is still a lot of time for you to come out and donate some toys, meet Santa, listen to some music, meet Pete, shake his hand, and we'll hear more from Pete in just a few minutes, so don't go away. ending on Sunday, but right now we're going back out live to Grapevine, the depot there, where Pete and a troop of Santa's helpers are hoping you're going to come out and bring them some toys. Pete, how's it going? Well, I tell you what, Glory, it's been a little slow. We do have some cars coming through right now. We're a little behind in our toy count, so we really need your help here at the Grapevine Train Depot as we head through tonight. So stop out and see us. We're going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight. We could certainly use your help. You may be able to see some of the flashing lights. The, the Grapevine Fire Department starting to uh, come in right now. The firemen are going to all drop off a bunch of toys for us, so we certainly appreciate their help, too, as they uh, start to stream in right here off of Main Street at the Grapevine Train Depot. Stop in and see us. More on tonight's event in a moment, but how about the weather? It's chilly outside, isn't it? Warm hearts here in Grapevine tonight, but chilly outside indeed. And as we check out weather bug, Thursday's high temperature, 73 degrees. But again, tonight, Gloria, it is Santa's Helpers, the 41st annual Santa's Helpers. We have 50,000 kids in North Texas that need your help. That's why we're here at the Grapevine Train Depot gathering new unwrapped toys tonight. We have folks that showed up. The Grapevine Fire Department, the guys are here. My thanks to them. Santa and Mrs. Claus, along with a lot of Santa's Helpers, are here tonight. Chick-fil-A, Tom Thumb, FedEx is here to haul away all the toys that we bring in tonight. So we're going to be here until, until 10 tonight. If you can't stop by and drop off a new unwrapped toy, Gloria, you know the story. Log on to WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers and make an online donation right there. That helps too. That's right. And if you don't have time to shop, you can always drive by and give us cash. Some people did that for us at Cedar Hill. Ted's here tonight, and there's a little reunion going on here at the AAC tonight. Yeah, there is. A, a lot of good times, you know, those years with A for that. I, I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to know. All right, thanks a lot, Ted. Right. And let's take another look at Grapevine at the depot where our Santa's helpers are out there trying to collect more toys, including these couple of pups. They're playing polar bears tonight. We'll see you tonight at 10. Come on out. Rinse. From WFAA Channel 8, this is a Santa's Helper's Toy Drive Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pete Delkus, live in Grapevine at the Grapevine Toy Depot, the train depot for our Santa's Helper's drive-through. We need your help. We've kind of hit a lull in the action. Pretty slow right now. We need some toys tonight. Stop out and see us. We'll be here until 10 at the Grapevine Train Depot right here on Main Street in downtown Grapevine. 10 o'clock tonight. We'll see you. Hurry to JCPenney. From WFAA Channel 8, this is a Santa's Helpers Toy Drive Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pete Delkus, live in Grapevine at the Train Depot. We need some help with Santa's Helpers. We have all of Santa's helpers here, but we don't have anybody dropping off any toys. We're below where we should be. We need you to stop by and drop off a new unwrapped toy. We'll be here until 10 o'clock at the Grapevine Train Depot. Stop out and see us. We're here until 10. A soldier surprises his children at school. 
Well, we're live in Grapevine for Santa's Helpers 2010, the 41st annual Santa's Helpers. More on the success of tonight's event, and are you ready for the coldest temperatures of the season? They're on the way. The forecast, the weekend outlook, coming up. Long trip of a lifetime. Look at the koala bear. I know, cool. Very cute. And Pete is out with a bear too. Or is it cows? <laughs> He's out with all the eat more chicken. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's right. Well, we've done that tonight. You know, this is our first year here in Grapevine, and it was a great success for us tonight. We did get together a lot of toys. I'll have a number for you tomorrow when we have our grand tally. We've got a lot of folks that are still out here helping us tonight, even though we're coming to an end. Uh, I do want to get into the weather before we do our our thank yous that we of course want to do tonight. We want to thank everyone that did come out and help tonight, but a chilly night it has been. At least it's been a dry night. Years past, we've had rain, we've had sleet, we've had snow, not tonight, just chilly temperatures. And as you check out Jesuit College Prep in Dallas, it's 50 degrees. We have mostly clear skies across the area right now, although as you sure on Thursday. Tonight though, our first night in Grapevine, the 41st annual Santa's Helpers Toy Drive, but number one in Grapevine tonight, we had a very, very nice turnout. Santa was here, Mrs. Claus was here, and all of Santa's helpers were out tonight helping unload the toys. So a very special thanks to a lot of folks tonight. FedEx was here picking up toys. We had a bunch of little babies tonight that wanted to see Santa. So lots of fun tonight and a, a, a nice steady flow of people came through the Grapevine train depot to uh, drop off toys and see some of the animals, some of the service dogs that were here. So uh, my thanks to all those folks who came down tonight and we still have a very nice crowd as we come back here live right now in Grapevine. Still have a nice crowd out here tonight and my thanks to all of Santa's helpers. A special thanks to our sponsors, Chick-fil-A, Don Davis Auto Group, the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, Tom Thumb, there's Tom. Tom, thanks for being here again. A uh, very special thanks to some folks that made some toy donations. Not only uh, we did we have a lot of donations tonight, but just a few days ago, we had a very nice donation from uh, Wiley High School. The head baseball coach there, Dustin Toth, got together, and what he did was he gathered 750 toys that they dropped off to us on Tuesday, and then a very substantial cash donation tonight by Kelly Donahue, Mary Crane and friends. They did that for us as well. So. Gloria and Shelly, we did have a very successful night here in Grapevine at the Toy Depot, and we're looking for at the Train Depot. I've said Toy Depot twice. I've had too many Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Overdosed <laughs> on those tonight. Uh, but a very good night for us here, our first year in Grapevine. We'll look forward to many more years to come. Well, right. it's good to see you out there with your brother, Tom. Pete. <laughs> too too much fried chicken. Say what you said in there, right? Did what? you see their heads, the heads side by side? About the same size. <laughs> Enough <laughs> said. That's exactly <laughs> right, about the same size. But uh, are we still thinking that Cliff Lee's not going to come here? Yeah, but the Rangers put forth an offer. We'll talk about it coming up next. And they Sugar-packed cereal brands. Well, it's time now for our Santa's Helpers Toy Drive. It's your chance to make a big difference in the lives of thousands of North Texas children this year. And our chief elf, Pete Delkis, is live at Will Rogers Memorial Center in Fort Worth this afternoon. Pete, big night tonight. Well, I tell you what, Casey, it sure is a big night, and we've just gotten started. We're going to be here until 10 tonight. We want you to stop out and drop off a new unwrapped toy. We have live music tonight from Soulful Sound. They're here once again entertaining you as you drop off some toys for the kids. We have folks right over here that have just stopped out. They're dropping off some toys, and when you drop off a toy, you'll get a hot Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. You will also get a coupon for a buy get one free rodeo ticket to the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo, which comes up just after the first of the year, mid-January right through the early part of February. So we are going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight in Fort Worth. Stop by and see us, drop off some toys for the kids, get some hot chicken sandwiches, get some tickets to the rodeo. Stop by and see us, 50,000 kids need your help. We'll be here until 10 tonight. More on tonight's event and more on a cold forecast ahead coming up. All right, we'll see you then. Thanks, Pete. And if you can't make it by Fort Worth tonight, make sure you go to our website, WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers. Right there, you can find a list of all of the drop-off sites near your house, or you can make a donation online. No more bullying. A new pull-out code to her secret identity. I feel like we're in the Da Vinci Code hearing that story. All sorts of clues to figure out without. Very one. neat. And right now, we've got Pete Delkus. He's not in here. He's out of Fort Worth for Santa's Helpers. How's it going, Pete? 
Well, I tell you what, Shelly, things are going great. The folks from Chick-fil-A just showed up with, with box after box of hot chicken sandwich over there. We've got the Chick-fil-A cow dancing to the lovely sounds of soulful sound. And so we've got a great night lined up for you here at the Will Rogers Memorial Center. We're going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight. 50,000 kids need toys this Christmas season, and you can help out. Stop by, drop off a new unwrapped toy. More on tonight, but right now, let's head to Weatherbug. It's a little chilly outside. Temperatures today in the 50s, and that's a lot better than what we had yesterday, 50 degrees. So, Shelly, we're back out here right now live in Fort Worth for Santa's Helpers 2010, the 41st annual Santa's Helpers. We need your help. If you stop by tonight, we have some folks that are stopping by right now. Dropping off some toys. We want you to drop off a toy and you will get a free hot Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. You'll also get a, 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 a certificate or a coupon for a buy one, get one free ticket to the uh, Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo, which starts here in just about a month from now. So stop by and see us. We're here until 10 o'clock tonight, a new unwrapped toy. If you can't make it here to our Fort Worth uh, toy drop off tonight, Tomorrow night, we're going to be in Dallas at Victory Park, and you can always log on to WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers and make a tax-deductible online donation there. So stop out and see us. Soulful Sound is added again. Tom Thumb is dancing. A good time, certain to be had by all. All right, Tom Thumb's been dancing for several nights now. He's a busy guy, that Tom <laughs> Don't Thumb. Don't the cows. They're dancing, <laughs> They too. are, too. We're back right after this. Supreme Court. It was the coldest night in 11 months last night, but it won't be that bad tonight. So we hope you'll venture out to help our Santa's helpers. Pete's live at the Will Rogers Memorial Center in Fort Worth. Pete. Well, I tell you what, Casey, we have lots of Santa's helpers out here tonight, and I have one little guy with me, Connor. He brought some toys for the kids tonight. Connor, thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Oh, well, thank you very much. Stop out and see me. Stop out and see Connor. But more importantly, do what Connor did and bring a new unwrapped toy. You can drop it off. We have folks that are starting to line up right now, dropping off toys. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. You stop by, you drop off a new unwrapped toy, you get a hot Chick-fil-A sandwich. And Casey and Shelly, although it's a little on the chilly side here in Fort Worth, you don't have to get out of your car. All of Santa's helpers are taking the toys out of the cars. They're putting them in buckets, and we're going to take them to the 50,000 kids in North Texas that need toys. So stop out and see us. We're here until 10 o'clock tonight, along with Soulful Sound at the Will Rogers Memorial Center right here in Fort Worth. Santa's helpers 2010 until 10 o'clock tonight. Oh. Got plenty on that later. And we are now 12 days away from Christmas. We need your help tonight out in Fort Worth. Just bring a new unwrapped toy to the Will Rogers Memorial Center. More on that right after this. Yeah, when those storms rolled through, Pete Delkis was extremely busy that day. He is busy tonight, but he's got his hands full with a better project, helping uh, collect some toys out there for Santa's helpers in Fort Worth. Pete? Oh, that's right, Casey. We're here at the Will Rogers Memorial Center right here in Fort Worth. We want you to stop out and see us tonight. We need your help. 50,000 kids in North Texas need your help. Without a new unwrapped toy from you tonight or one of our other drop-off opportunities, one of those kids may go without a toy under the Christmas tree, and Christmas is less than two weeks away, so you have an opportunity to help out tonight here in Fort Worth. We already have some folks that have been lining up, dropping off toys. I know it's a little on the chilly side, but you don't even have to get out of the car. Thank you very much. Santa's helpers are here to take those new unwrapped toys out of the car tonight, and we'll make sure that the right folks receive those. So stop by and see us until 10 o'clock tonight. Chilly temperatures. It was a cold morning, wasn't it? The coldest morning we've had in almost a year across North Texas. We hit 27 this morning, and as we check out Weatherbug outside right now, let's head to Alvarado ISD where we had a beautiful sunset temperature then. I want to introduce you right now to Pam Wright. Pam, you're with the uh, Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo, and we've teamed up. Channel 8 and the Stock Show have teamed up to give away some nice uh, uh, coupons, certificates to folks tonight. We have not just a nice coupon, Pete, but actually a two-for-one coupon for a lot of the Stock Show and Rodeo's performances this year. We hope your folks will come out and see us because we're really excited to be partnering with you this year. So People pull up, they drop off a new unwrapped toy, they get a hot Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. They, and the Chick-fil-A folks are giving away not only chicken sandwiches tonight, but they're giving away certificates for future chicken sandwiches and a, a certificate to the Stock Show and Rodeo. It starts pretty soon, too. It does. We start in one month, one month from tomorrow. 
So this is a way for everybody to win. The kids win with all the toys and the visitors at home get to come out and enjoy a great rodeo and great chicken sandwiches. That sounds great. Pam, thank you very much. So Casey and Shelly, we're going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight. Stop by and see us if you can't make it here to our Fort Worth location, WFAA.com slash Santa's Helpers for an online donation. All right, thanks so much, Pete. We want to get to his buddy Dale here. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. to say, I'm very into the Cowboys, even more so with the new coach. Oh, yeah. Inter and make sure to help us out tonight. Drop off new unwrapped toys at the Will Rogers Center in Fort Worth. All helps out Santa's helpers. We'll see you again tonight at 10.